Hello and welcome everybody to this XTB market update video. My name is Walid Kudmani, Chief Market Analyst for XTB. And in this brief video, we're going to be covering the main events happening this week in the markets, what to keep an eye on during the rest of the week. Might be a shorter week in some markets as Tuesday is a holiday in several European countries. But besides that, there's going to be a lot of events to keep an eye on and markets have been in movement. We have obviously the Fed decision this week. We have the earnings season in Wall Street continuing geopolitical tensions between Russia and Ukraine still impacting wheat, as we saw today, Monday, and also the Chinese COVID situation, which could be of a huge impact to the rest of the market. So we're going to be covering briefly the calendar, what to keep an eye on roughly this week. I'll also show you the earnings calendar if you're uh, following Wall Street earnings. Of course, we're going to be keeping you up to date throughout the week, but this is just to give you a bit of a start to uh, set you into your ways for the rest of the week to keep an eye on. So we're going to take a look at the calendar first, what's happening today, what's happening in the rest of the week. So today we had some uh, mixed sentiment in the in the uh, European markets at the beginning and then uh, Q3 uh, GDP from Italy and other countries, uh, CPI as well from the euro area and the Chicago PMI. Top earning reports, we had Lowe's Corporation Global Payments. Tomorrow, we have some key events. I'll list them for the rest of the week. So tomorrow or tonight, 3.30, RBA, Reserve Bank of Australia decision. Then tomorrow, US Manufacturing, ISM, API report on inventories. Wednesday, US ADP report for oil, DOE report on US oil inventories, or sorry, US ADP report for employment, which is the one that precedes the Fed, the NFP, which is the obviously the highlight of the week when it comes to macroeconomic releases. And then at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, the Fed decision as well. Thursday, Bank of England rate decision. Very interesting to see what they're going to be doing because uh, obviously the very unstable political situation in the UK. And then Friday, US NFP and Canada jobs reports, as usually is the case. So as you can see, a lot of things to keep an eye on from the macroeconomic point of view. I'll also show you here the um, some of the top stocks to, to keep an eye on this week, you can see here. So Tuesday, AMD, Airbnb, EA, Electronic Arts, Pfizer, Uber Technologies. Then we have Wednesday, Booking Holdings, eBay, Etsy, uh, Robinhood. Of course, some of you may have heard of that. Then Thursday, Barrick, uh, Coinbase, um, Kellogg, Marriott, Moderna, PayPal, Starbucks. You can see a lot of big names and then DraftKings the betting service on Friday. So the earnings uh, season is also in full swing. We had the mega cap companies last week, and then we have a continuation of that this week with some major, major companies. Let's take a look at the charts just to give a brief overview of what's happening in the markets today, Monday, the 31st of October, Halloween. So pound, uh, I'll show you here. Actually, let me make the view even bigger here. So you can see pound gaining uh, at the start of this week. And then at the end of last week, you can see here, Pulling back today, though, but still significantly above the lows that we saw just some time ago. Trading right now around 115 as the US dollar, as I'm going to show you here, has been strengthening a little bit, but reaching a high of 116.4, uh, which you can see here was last reached about the middle of September, the 13th of September, before the crash that saw the low of around 1035 after the announcement of the fiscal policies by the uh, trust government. Of course, that were uh, those were reversed. And then we saw a significant reversal also in the price of the pound. Euro USD, similar situation, um, but not quite the recovery that we saw also pulling back right now. What you see here overlaid is the US dollar index chart on the blue candles. And you can see as the euro dollar pulls back, US dollar index is uh, gaining strength as well. This can be useful. I think the, uh, the comparison between the two can give you an idea of, um, or at least give you some perspective on if it's related to dollar strength, dollar weakness, euro strength, or whatever currency pair as well. When it comes to indices, we'll take a look at the DAX. DAX still trading stable, managing to slightly uh, remain above that area. If I draw a potential support line, you'll see here, just testing this area, which was in the past, a resistance tends to happen sometimes, but at the same time, We'll have to see how this progresses during the rest of the week. As I mentioned, we, there's a lot of events that could be uh, impacting markets. As far as U.S. markets are concerned, similar situation, st except starting a little bit lower and then recovering at the moment, 3,900 points on the U.S. 500 S&P. And then while the Nasdaq, after pulling back uh, last week, is managed to recover and back in this range, which we saw for quite some time as well. When it comes to the volatility index, still dropping when it comes to the hourly, but as you can see, it has been dropping for some time. So 
as we have seen a stabilization of moods as well. Just briefly touching on crypto and Bitcoin. Bitcoin still above 20,000, although we saw it reach around 20, uh, almost 21,000 and then pulling back. Let's take a look at commodities now, just before we finish. Gold still struggling around 1640. You can see here previous support area, previous support uh, and previous support as well. And it seems as if gold has been stuck in this range between 1675 to 1640 for quite some time now. And um, we might have to see a break be between these levels basically to see where it, what's going to happen next. Of course, it might remain in this range or it might uh, exit this range at any point. It really remains to be seen. But we can see that these levels seem to be providing some support and resistance. So worth keeping an eye on. And when we go and take a look instead on oil prices, oil prices continuing to pull back a little bit. Uh, part of this is the Chinese concerns because obviously China imports a lot of oil and uh, the potential of them shutting down their economy as a result of their COVID policy has had a significant impact not only on oil prices, which it significantly has, but also on the general market sentiment because being a, a main importer of many raw materials and exporter of many goods and also secondhand components and all of that, it could be really um, tied to a lot of several effects that might happen. So WTI, similar situation, pulling back slightly, testing a potential support around 86-ish, and you can see here uh, hovering in this area. Some interesting candle formations as well, but at the moment you can see more red than uh, not. And then finally, we can take a look at wheat. As I mentioned earlier, you can see wheat starting the day shockingly high, up about 6%. We even mentioned this in the news section. Uh, this was after the uh, Russia pulled out of the deal, basically with the United Nations that would allow for safe transport of grain and wheat from Ukraine. Ukraine uh, exports around 15% of the world's grain. So this is, as you would imagine, a very, very significant um, event. But as we saw, after several hours of trading at this area, we are now having a pullback, as it tends to happen sometimes, or really it's hard to stabilize after a gap. So we have to see what happens really and, and where we close the day to see how the markets are really perceiving this. And then we can take a look at, just to close, um, the UK index, uh, also similar to European. And I guess that's a good uh, enough outline of everything that's been happening in the markets. We're obviously going to be keeping up to date with the news section, but this was just a brief outline to see where we are heading uh, or where, what to keep an eye on during the rest of the week. So thank you very much for watching. My name is Walid Kudmani, Chief Market Analyst for XTV. Good luck with your trading and see you in the next video.